Hi, this is Tiffany with Jim Fairy Crystals, and this is the new series called Ghost Stories in the Dark, based on actual events inspired by Stephen King. This first story we have is called The Boy with the Red Truck. It was one evening about, ooh, I would say a few years ago, my youngest son who was also a medium. He was around four or five in age, maybe. And it was nighttime, it was around 9 p.m. And we were preparing to get in bed. And we had just finished dinner. And he was playing in the living room. And he looked out the front window onto the porch. And he told me that he had saw a little boy sitting on the porch playing with the red truck. And so I looked out the window and I know that it's nine o'clock at night. So there's no way that there's going to be a child playing with any toys that time of night on our porch or either theirs to begin with. So I looked out the window and I didn't see anybody. And I said, where, baby? And he said, Mommy, right there. There, you don't see him? And I said, no, I don't see him. He said, it's a little boy. He's playing with a truck. He's sitting right there, right there. And apparently, the boy was stooped down right in front of where I was supposedly to look at that area. But I didn't see nobody. And so... I asked him further, I said, baby, what is his name? What does he look like? And he said, he's a black boy and his name is Seba. And when he told me that, I just got chills immediately all over my body. And so I closed the curtains, grabbed my son, and we went up to bed. Later on that evening, I researched the name Seba. And let's just say that it was a lower vibrational D word is what it meant. So yeah, and we never had any occurrences with that then thereafter. And that was the end of the story with the little boy with the red truck. Now, this next story I have is called The Cover. It was one night a few years ago, probably about maybe five years ago or more. I purchased this candle, <coughs> a candle for manifesting. And it was, I forget the, the name of the candle, but it was a, red a, a pink and blue candle yes and I lit the candle and set up my petition or what have you but I made a mistake I forgot to cleanse the candle with sage or incense prior to lighting it and the significance of that is the flame of the candle is said to attract spiritual beings, benevolent and all of that. Well, mine attracted something a little more sinister. So I lit the candle. It was in, you know, the evening time. And upon going to bed, I, everyone was asleep and I was the last one to fall asleep. So I felt once again that there was a presence watching me from the hallway. The hallway was dark and I had on my television, which still you know, was on. So I had the light from the TV and I was trying to go to sleep and I just kept feeling like I was being watched by something. So I finally turned my back to the door and dozed off to sleep with my covers up to my shoulder. Well, in the middle of the night around 
2 a.m. ish, 3 a.m., I could feel my covers moving off of my body very slowly. I was asleep, but I wasn't sound asleep. I was halfway asleep, but I could still feel and hear everything that was going on around me. I didn't hear anything, but I felt a presence in my room that night. So I opened my eyes. I cracked them open. I didn't wake up fully. And I could see my covers moving off of me towards the foot of the bed. No one was awake. No one was in the room. So how could that be? The covers was moving very slowly, but I could see that they were moving. So I grabbed the top of the cover and I yanked it back up towards me. Then I sat up halfway and looked towards the door, which was also the foot of my bed at that angle from which the covers was being pulled. No one was standing there. So I dozed back off after reading my Bible, Psalms 23rd, asking for protection. I dozed back off for a couple of minutes. Then my son wakes up and comes into my room. And he says, Mom, a hand grabbed my foot and pulled it. I then jumped into full protection mode. I prayed. I read the Bible again, the 23rd Psalm, and asked God for his protection. And then I put on Gregorian chants, which are said to stifen lower vibrational entities and demonic forces. They can't move and do anything while Gregorian chants are on. It stifens their movement and kind of puts them in glitch mode to where they can't teleport or maneuver as fast as they usually would to get to person to person or to do whatever it is that they're trying to do. So it limits their movement to where it dissolves them and they have to go away. So after a night of playing the Gregorian chants and praying to God, we never had an occurrence like that again. And so that's why now I light a candle and I cleanse the candle before I actually do anything with it. So that's why it's important to cleanse your candles before lighting them so that it won't attract lower vibrational entities. And yeah, we never had any occurrences like that again. And that's the end of this story. And see you next time next weekend for more ghost stories in the dark based on actual events. Bye for now. Bye.